Balochistan's capital Quetta has been cut off from the rest of the country as the city's main railway line and the highway, which were damaged due to the rain, have not yet been repaired. The railway service was suspended after the track was submerged on Monday, while the traffic on Quetta Karachi National Highway has been suspended for four days, as flood water was still flowing over the highway. Sibi Deputy Commissioner has denied the reports that the track was washed away at several points. He clarified that the track was submerged and efforts were underway to dewater the area and restore railway services between Quetta and other parts of the country. The Pakistan Meteorological Department has said that strong monsoon currents are penetrating most central and southern parts of the country and are likely to continue during the next two to three days. It added that a westerly wave is also present over the northern parts of the country and warning that the heavy rains may generate urban flooding in Karachi and other parts of Sindh. Meanwhile, gushing flood water continued to leave behind destruction as dozens of homes, bridges and roads were swept away on Tuesday in several Gilgit Baltistan areas. In Balochistan, districts such as Musakhel, Zob, Pishin, Kela Sefullah, Kela Abdullah, Nasirabad and Las Bela were still receiving torrential rains for the past two days, leaving behind a ton of destruction and devastation. The Biden administration has announced that it will not release 3.5 billion US dollars in frozen Afghan funds, citing the discovery of Al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri in Kabul. According to a New York Times report, an American official said the United States could not guarantee that the money would not fall into terrorist hands, so it has ruled out releasing it anytime soon. Tom West, the State Department's special representative for Afghanistan, told journalists in Washington that he did not see a recapitalization of the Afghan Central Bank as a near-term option. He added, Taliban's sheltering of Al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri reinforces deep concerns we have regarding diversion of funds to terrorist groups, he added. Israeli military officials have confirmed that Israel was responsible for the deaths of five Palestinian children on the last day of the country's recent bombardment of the Gaza Strip. According to the Israeli newspaper Haaretz, an army inquiry into the attack on the Fallujah Cemetery on August 7 had found that Israel was to blame. At the time of the attack, the Israeli army blamed the deaths on a rogue Islamic Jihad rocket. Over the course of three days, Israeli forces unleashed a wave of airstrikes on Gaza, killing 49 people, including 17 children and wounding at least 360 others.